Hi, I'm Bram. Welcome to Earphonia. In this quick video, we will test two different USB cable, micro USB to micro USB cable. This is one longer one and this is a shorter one. To connect my phone to a USB deck. This is VO Q5 USB deck. Uh, what we are going to observe is um, the uh, amount of current discharged from the phone's battery to the uh, USB deck because this USB deck has an uh, internal battery so we will try to charge the battery when the USB port is connected uh, currently my phone is on flight mode uh, on this flight mode the uh, current consumption is lower uh, it's pretty consistent between around 100 milliamps sometimes goes up a little bit to 150 milliamps but it's around that range around 100 150 milliamps so um, let's see the difference when i connect this usb deck using this cable i will launch the usb audio player pro to play a song through this few um, Q5 okay. and we will use this apps ampere to measure the uh, discharge current from the battery as you can see the discharge current goes up quite high from around 100 milliamp 150 milliamp goes up to 1310 milliamps so there are a lot of current going out from my phone's usb port to charge the uh, internal battery of this uh, usb deck that means my phone's battery drains quite fast when i connect this usb deck using this usb port usb cable i mean okay let's see after uh, player still playing yep Let's reset the measurement. Sometimes the uh, discharge current can be a bit high when the uh, player launching and start playing music. But after a while, uh, with this cable, it goes down. But with this cable, the discharge current stays high. This is quite high. That means there will there is about more than thousand milliamps going out from the USB port of my phone to the, to charge the battery the USB deck battery it will surely discharge and drain my phone's battery quite fast as you can see it stays there at around 1360 milliamps okay let's um, try this cable I'll shut down the player I will let the uh, measurement settles down. It's okay. You can see it goes back to below 200 milliamps. Okay. About 140 now. Let's try this cable. same player USB audio player pro let's monitor the uh, current it goes up a while when player is starting let's wait a while You see that the uh, discharge current goes down. Let's reset.
less than 200 milliamp. Let's wait a while to see whether it's uh, stable around 200 milliamps. The player is still playing. It goes up a bit to 250. So when it changed track, current goes up, when the song playing, it stables again at less than 200 milliamp. Okay, let's try this cable again. I'll shut down the player. So now it's stable at around 130, 140. Let's connect this uh, USB deck now using this cable. Okay, same process. We play a song. Monitor the uh, current, wow, 2100 milliamps. That's really high. Okay, let's a while, wait a while until it uh, settles down. I observe with this cable it settles down at around 1300 milliamp when the song is playing. Yep. As you can see, with this cable, it goes down uh, to less than 200 milliamps. With this cable, it stays at around 1300 milliamps. Okay. Looks like it's not going down any further. Stays at 1,300, 1,400 milliamps. Yep, still playing the same song. Okay, that goes back to this cable. Shut down the player. Okay, let's wait a while until the uh, current showing less than 200 milliamp. Okay, okay, around 200 milliamps. Let's connect this USB deck using this short cable. Okay. Okay, I want to play the same song, monitor the uh, current, okay, it goes up for a while, 1,230, okay, going down, Okay, as we can see with this cable, it goes down to 180, 200 milliamps. And song is playing. Yeah. But with this cable, the current discharge stays around 1300 milliamps. That means my phone's battery will drain a lot faster when I use this cable. 
all right i think that's it for now thanks for watching i hope this video is useful for you